Right, right in the very distance is the quantox. I'm just going to zoom right in and just see how far. Past some wood, first wood, past another wood near the dunster. Right over there, that is the quantox, right over there. That's the quantox that I've walked and explored. I'll just zoom out again so you can see just how far away I am. And I'm... Porlock could be down here somewhere. Along the ridge there, which I've got to do one day, will be the Somerset Walks with beautiful sea, scenes of the coast. That's another walk where I go to Minehead and walk along that bit and then you can go round. That's just like, or you can carry on if you're a big walker, but to do those consistent walks, you have to have someone pick your stuff up, take it to the next hostel or bed and breakfast or hotel, or however you're doing it. You need to have, have um, there needs to be some sort of organization to be able to say, right, well, six months I'm walking the coast. Right, now here's that track I seen earlier, look, that cut us through from the other track. See? Someone's put a little stone, I'll put a little stone there for my sister Jude. I've already put two stones on for the family, the world, and my sister Jude. There's another one there. See, look at these lovely views. The sea's right out there, look. Chris, at one time I was very ambitious. I was going to walk along the top of these two sets of woods I was going to do on top of this on a day like this. Now there will be people that do that and I could have done that a few years ago. And I probably still could if I set off early enough. You know what I mean? You've got to set off. Oh, some more posts there. We're heading for Weber's post, I think. And I expect there'll be some more of those orangey red ribbons and trees. Obviously, they've been used for somebody. They might have been at the weekend, though, and they just haven't known. I can see one ahead. Right, ah, uh, yeah, that, they've actually got um, a sign to Watton Courtney here. This is where I, this is another way I, this is why it's good to remember all this. <sighs> because the church is down there. If I had decided to have gone that way, done the church, and then if I'd had another two hours, right? I haven't got those two hours, so I can't do it today. But I don't need to come up here exactly now. But I do know there would have been another path up here. And this is it. This is the Watton Courtney pathway down to the village of Watton Courtney, which is what I did have in my mind to do. And I was even going to park there and start my walk from there. In which case, I might have come up this one or I might have come through the woods there. Then you've got the, they call it the Dunster Path. I don't know why they call it the Dunster Path. Why don't they call it the Dunkery Beacon Path? Dunster's over that way, I think. <laughs> But I think, no, I think what it is, they just call it the Dunster Path. Because you, this is the walk from Dunster. If you, if I'd done that walk, that other walk, I was going to park up at Dunster and walk along all this slot as well. That was going to be one of my walks. And I will do it, but I won't be coming up to the beacon every time. <laughs> Not unless I feel super fit. I'm not saying I couldn't do it, no. It's just that I don't like, it's getting on for three now. Um, you've got to allow quite a big day. That would be a completely big day's hike. That would. So here we go, we're just following this nice old path. The Dunster Path or Bridal Way. I think it links up with... There's the Coleridge Way and the Macmillan Way, both all verge around here. Because um, Coleridge and Wordsworth used to walk to Porlock. 
because they would obviously stop at every pub on the way, mind. And I've got it, Porlock's a separate thing, like Minehead. They are separate things. But this is the biggie today. This is the biggie doing the beacon. They're all going to be big, and I'm climbing up and down them. Don't get me wrong. They're all going to be big. But I can, now I've done a really big swoop of Dunkery Beacon now. Both sides and down the middle. It gives me more time to come back and do these other things. It's like there's a little white... Looks like a little white church, doesn't it? It could be residential now. Over there, look. Looks like a church. Yeah, it does look like a church. I don't know what that would be called, that one. But that that's something I could that you could probably reach when you're on a walk up there. Is that all that I want to walk all that as well? Oh, there's so much to do. Like I said, I do get low at times, but I'll tell you what, when you come out doing stuff like this, it just lifts you. Honestly, I do. We all get down. I know we do. But... And I'm not young. I'm not a young 20-year-old. I mean, I used to walk miles when I was in my 20s. You know, I was up, I climbed Snowden, Snowden. I walked 25 miles once through the Caledonian Forest in Scotland on my own, by the way. Not the Snowden thing. I did that with a group of German students. It's a part of something we were doing when I was training to be a teacher. And uh, God, it looks like there's another church down there. So have a look. See, these are all the things you could park up. Say, do that, park up down that Watney Courtney, whatever the place you call it, then just walk along here and do all the churches up. That's what I want to do. This is still Somerset. That's, that's what I want to do. There's not enough time today, Sheila. Normally I fit a church in, you see. Is it beautiful, everyone? I've got miles to walk here, but I don't care. I'm really enjoying it, you know. I'm just enjoying it. Look at the beauty. Oh, my goodness. I'm overwhelmed with our beautiful Somerset. Like I said, I've had to wait until I'm 60, in my 60s, basically, although I started in my late 50s. In my late 50s, I was biking everywhere. Not up here or anything, but I was doing a lot of my Somerset churches on, on a bicycle. Then family tree, I started going away in my camper van. Further away, of course, not just not Somerset, all over the country. Mainly Cambridge and Suffolk. But I went everywhere, up to Scotland. And walked when I was away on my trips. And... Uh, I don't think we should have to wait. I know there are lots of young people that don't wait till they're retired. Maybe you can organise your life differently. I mean, I used to run marathons, so there was time when I was young. But I'd never thought about walking. I was a runner then. Or a jogger, if you like. I'd never dreamed of walking anywhere, not really. I would have thought, God, this is taking ages. You know, so you do change as you get older. Oh, God, I just can't get over it. I just can't get over the beauty. Over and out.